Hey everybody, it's Havoc and welcome to another video. Today I'm going to show you how to use your stream deck to run ads while you're streaming on Twitch. Before we get started, make sure to click that like, subscribe, and click the bell so you know when the next video drops. And stay tuned to the end of the video to download the resources that we cover in this video. You may recall Twitch rolled out pre-roll ads to all partners and affiliates. Now what is a pre-roll ad? A pre-roll ad is when somebody joins your channel, the first thing they're gonna get is an ad. So anytime there's a raid or a host, they're gonna get an ad if they're not a sub to your channel or they don't have Twitch Turbo. If they are a sub to your channel and you don't want them to get ads, you have to make sure you turn that feature on in your dashboard. Twitch also rolled out guidelines for disabling pre-roll ads on your channel. Here's the breakdown. If you run a 90 second or longer ad, pre-roll ads will be disabled for 30 minutes. When you run a 60 second ad, pre-roll ads will be disabled for 20 minutes. And if you run a 30 second ad, pre-roll ads will be disabled for the next 10 minutes. On September 14th, 2020, the Twitch support account tweeted out they're testing mid-roll ads on various channels. Mid-roll ads are when a viewer is consuming your content will randomly get an ad in the middle of that content. Whereas the pre-roll we explained earlier is when they join your channel. Three days later, they tweeted out that they were done with their testing, but they threw that part in there that says ads are an essential part of keeping Twitch freely available. So they are keeping ads around. They're not going away. Now that we understand what the ads are and the requirements, let's get into how you can manually run ads on your stream to disable those pre-roll ads. This is all going to be using your stream deck. So first up, open up your stream deck program. The bottom right, click more actions. You'll scroll down and you'll see this option stream countdown timer. This is from uh, a person named Bar Raider. Bar Raider has a ton of different stream deck plugins you can install, do various things. We want the stream countdown timer. Go ahead and hit install. We'll go install. Boom. All done. Go ahead and close that. Now what you want to do is scroll down and you should see a bar raider stream countdown timer. We're going to drag that up to a slot and here we have a timer. For this example, I'm just going to set this to 10 seconds so you can see what we're going to talk about here. I now have a 10 second timer. I'm going to push that button on my stream deck. It'll start counting down and when it reaches zero, it'll start flashing red. The flashing red here is to get your attention while you're streaming. You can't see it here, but actually on my stream deck, the button is flashing just like it looks here on the screen. There are a lot of other settings within this plugin that you can go through setting the time, different color for the alert, images, uh, sounds and whatnot. We won't go into it in this video, but definitely kind of play around with it and see what works best for you. Now that we have the countdown alert set up, it's time to add buttons to the Stream Deck to play ads on Twitch. So on the right side of the Stream Deck program, you wanna come over here under the Twitch section, play ad, we'll drag it over. And here, we're gonna set this for a 30 second ad. It's already default at 30. You'll choose your account. Then what you're gonna do is you have the option to add different uh, icons for this. So I have some pre-made icons. Stay tuned to the end of the video. I'll make these resources available to you. We'll do 30 second here and that's it. Now we're going to do the same thing for a 60 second ad. We'll change this to 60, change this to our 60 icon and then we'll do one more for 90. So here's 90, we'll change that to 90 and boom. Now when this alert goes off, You'll see it's counting down from 10, obviously set to whatever you want. You'll start to see it flashing on your stream deck. Boom, that's an alert that says, hey, play an ad. You click one of these buttons on your stream deck, depending on how long you want your ad to be, and that's all you do. To reset the alert, you just click the button again on your stream deck. There you go. Playing an ad when you first go live on your channel is a great way to disable the pre-roll ads. So here I'm going to show you how to set up a multi-action button on your stream deck. And the goal is you hit this button 
your channel goes live, it switches to your going live overlay, and it plays an ad. So first thing you want to do is come over on the right side in your Stream Deck area. If you want multi-action, we'll drag it down here. And then here's where we get in kind of the meat of how, what to do here. So first what we want to do is switch to our going live uh, overlay. Back here in OBS, I have uh, three scenes. This is my going live scene. I'm going to switch it back to this other one here so we can kind of see the action happen. And then we want to go to OBS and choose scene. And here we want to actually choose which scene we want. So this is going to be going live. Now we want to add a little bit of a delay. So we'll scroll back down here to Stream Deck. We'll go to delay. And then let's set a delay of uh, let's do three seconds. So let's, uh, let's do five. That's five seconds. And what this is going to do is um, OBS is going to switch to the scene, do a quick delay. Now we're going to go live. So over here on the right side under OBS, we'll choose stream. And then we want it to be start. And then once again, we want to add a delay. So we'll put a little delay here. We'll do this another, uh, let's do 10 seconds. So right now, OBS switches to our going live scene, three second delay, or sorry, five second delay, then starts the stream, then a 10 second delay. And what that's gonna do is make sure our stream is live. And then what we're gonna do is go back down here to Twitch, and then we're gonna play an ad. And we'll choose like a 90 second ad here. And that's it. So let's test out and see how this works. Let's go back um, over here. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna press the button on the stream deck, which is gonna be this button right here. It'll go through the actions, but it won't actually go live because I'm not going live here, but you'll see uh, you'll see an error probably in the OBS, but you can see what I'm talking about. So let me press the button, switches to our, our scene, waits, and then the bottom right, it should start, start streaming. We get the error because we're not actually streaming. And that's it, it fires off the ad as soon as you go live. Now that we know this works, we're gonna set an icon for this file or this program. So I'm gonna to go to set icon and I'm gonna choose my go live icon here. So now we've got a countdown timer for when we're actually live. We'll press that and it'll count down. And when it starts flashing, we'll know to press one of these ads. When we start our stream, we'll use this multi-action to switch to our going live overlay, then uh, go live, then play an ad. Next up, I'm gonna show you how to run an ad when you're taking a break at intermission AFK. What we're gonna do is go back to our Stream Deck area. We're gonna do a multi-action. We'll put it down in this corner. Now we want OBS to switch over to the correct scene. So go back up to OBS, scene, and then we're gonna choose our AFK. Then we're gonna wait. Let's do like five seconds. So we'll put a Stream Deck delay. Do five seconds. And then we're gonna have Twitch playing ad. So let's go down here to Twitch, playing ad, and we'll choose that to be 90 seconds. And then what you can see here is if I press this button, switches to our intermission, and then it'll play an ad. And once again, you can change the icon. So let's go back up here. We'll change this icon to be our uh, BRB icon. And again, all of these icons, stay tuned to here a little bit at the end of the video. I'll post a link where you can get all these. I made these for you. You can have them, go nuts with them. And there you have it. We have a go live action where it switches to our going live. It uh, fires over to the scene, stream starts, immediately play an ad to disable those pre-roll ads. Then while you're streaming, we have the countdown timer. Obviously you set this to however many minutes you want. It gets your attention. When you get your attention, you know to press the 30, 60, or 90 second ad on your stream deck to play an ad. And then finally, we have the BRB screen where if you need to go take a quick break, get some water, stretch, you press this, it'll switch over to your intermission screen and then run a 90 second ad. And there you have it. Three very easy ways to run ads on your stream through your stream deck. The final way you can run ads that are mostly automated is utilizing your chat bot, such as Moobot, Nightbot, or Deepbot. All of these bots should have the ability to run ads at timed intervals automatically 
so you don't have to do anything. Finally, head over to our Discord server at discord.gg havoc and find all the resources that we utilize in this video in the YouTube resources folder. We'll see you in the next video.